Howdy friends, this is Lance. I want to talk a little bit about utilizing the Google Classroom mobile app, whether you're talking about the one for Android or for iPad. And here I am on a Chromebook and I have the Google Play Store enabled in my school district. And so if you don't, well, you'll need to ask for that. And not only that, but my teachers have the Lenovo 500e Chromebook and it has an EMR stylus, so it allows for fine tip writing. And so if you're gonna use the Google Classroom app and you're gonna do what we're gonna talking about today, and that is utilizing the new PDF file, with the combination of those two things, it's really, really handy. And so I'm gonna try and make this really quick. First off, once you download the Google Classroom app, you'll have two versions of Classroom. You'll have the Chrome version, on a Chromebook, and then you also have the Android version. So here I'm gonna open the Android version and I'm gonna give you a few scenarios where you could utilize the new PDF feature. And so to get this going, I go to classwork and I click on the plus for a new item. And this is embedded directly into an assignment question or material, any of these three will do. And I'm gonna do a material this time just for time's sake. And I'll just say class notes and I will place a topic on this Android app. And to get a brand new PDF, blank PDF file, you click on the paperclip and you'll see that there is a new PDF option right here. Again, this is just in the mobile version. So a few things that you need to keep in mind as we get rolling here, you have some different pen tools that you can utilize. This one's more of a highlighter, just letting you know that the differences between these. And usually these two are pretty similar. The difference between them is just whatever you set them to be as far as how they write. But they're very similar for the most part. There, there's a slight difference in texture, but not much. Okay. And then you also have your eraser and you can also clear the entire canvas. You have a text tool as well as an item to move things around. So I'll give you some scenarios where this tool could be handy. So scenario number one, Let's say that you are casting your screen in front of your class and you just need a blank page to write notes. So I could type that. And not only that, but then if I type that, I'm able to move it around with one finger. If I grab a corner, I'm able to resize it. If I choose the select option, I can select it and I can resize it that way, which is pretty cool. So if you're still on the text tool and you resize that box, it doesn't change the font size. But if you choose the select tool over here, it will allow you to resize it and then move it around accordingly. OK, so you can cast your screen for blank notes. Another great option that you may want to use a tool like this for is if you're doing screencasting. So if you're doing screencast. Sorry, that's pretty sloppy. And so there's a prime scenario where it does get a little sloppy. So what you can do is use two fingers to zoom way in. So that way you are able to write much finer and neater. And I can just change the color to whatever I want. And so I'll just give some examples. So great places to do screencasting are Okay, so there's lots of different options out there for giving screencasts. When I wanna zoom back out and pan around, I can just use two fingers at the same time to be able to do so. Hopefully I'm not making any of you sick by doing that. And then what I can also do is we could use this for just brainstorming notes with your class. So let's say you're coming up with some ideas and you are sharing your device with students and they are participating. Kind of a lame example, I know. I'm not an artist. Sorry, art teachers out there. But I wanted to give you some different scenarios. You can handwrite, you could type, you could draw pictures, come up with sketch notes if you're more artsy than I am, that's for sure. And then what's also kind of cool is with this grab tool, you can actually move items around in clusters. So if I draw a box, just touching that, I can move it where I want on the screen. Same with handwriting. If I draw a box around these items, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. There is an undo button right there. I'll try that again. And we'll touch all those. And then I'm able to move those and resize them if I pinch them and I can rotate them with two fingers, tap on the screen to place it where I want. And again, with this grab tool, I'm able to grab the entire picture. Okay, so what it would allow you to do is quite a bit of planning and moving around of notes, shifting them around. You could 
write them and then shrink them down, or you could zoom in and pan around the page. When the teacher is all done, what they can do is hit save. And what's fantastic about it is that then when the teacher sends it out to the students, then what ends up happening is the students are able to access those notes directly have access to the PDF. So the teacher could potentially share it as a material. In this case, it's a material. If the students really want to download it, they could by opening the window and then downloading it and manipulating it themselves. That's one option. The other option is teacher could include it as part of an assignment and give each student a copy if they really wanted to, if students are using a PDF editor. But another way it could be used is if the teacher wanted to do like an exit ticket with those notes, could have set it up as a question, asked the question, included the PDF file, and then the students would have the notes and then you would have a question embedded in it and then they could answer it on their way out. So then the next day they could see the answers to their question as well as the notes already pre-existing. So Several different options here, not anything fancy in the mobile app other than it's just a blank PDF file, but it does allow for some smooth annotations and drawings and quick way to get notes out to students, whether you're casting your screen, or you wanna take notes in a screencast, or if you just want notes to distribute and brainstorm ideas out to your class in a material assignment or question.